What's going on everyone? It's your boy Big D here and it's time to review Avengers Age of Ultron. Now this is a non-spoiler review. I'm basically just going to tell you my pros and cons and final score and tell you whether or not you should watch it or if you've obviously already seen it, which probably most of you have, then just give you my opinion on it. Uh, excuse me for the lighting, it's just because since it's a Marvel movie and it's a very huge thing, you know, Avengers don't come out every year. This is the Avengers Assemble, so I thought I should just uh, do my, uh, yeah, with my Marvel wall. So. Just to sh you know, just to show it off because it's been a uh, I've been a uh, building it up. So let's get right to it, guys. Real quick, I went to the IMAX screening and I went to the Avengers uh, double feature. So I saw Avengers one in IMAX and Avengers Age of Ultron. So it was a five-hour thing, and I really enjoyed myself. And real quick, this is what I got from it, which will be joining my Marvel wall, an Avengers poster, and also I got two more other things. Now I got two collectible cups, they're the same basically, and they kind of look like that just with a team, but I got Captain America and Ultron. Alright, now when I walked into the theater, you know, I'm a Marvel fan and I'm a DC fan, but I'm more of a Marvel fan boy. I expected this movie to be greatness, I expected it to be amazing, to be awesome, not to have any flaws, you know, it's just the Avengers, baby. So I walked in, and these are my cons basically for the movie, like Ultron, Ultron James Spader, man, is amazing as Ultron. Let me get that started real quick. He's not bad. He's amazing. He's great. He was the perfect choice to play Ultron. I can't see no one else playing Ultron. It's just, I love him in the blacklist, and he was just such an awesome uh, pick for it. Now, but uh, Ultron does get annoying at times. Now, Ultron, he's funny, and he's serious, but I really would have rather had Ultron, and he's funny. He's a funny guy. He has Tony Stark type of humor, you know. You'll see in the movie if you see it or if you have seen it, but I wish he kind of just... He was really scary when he was serious in the beginning, like... Strings. I have no strings on me. And then, then he gets all like, ha 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 type of funny, and I was like... You kind of ruined that horrifying thing. I mean, he's crazy. But you kind of... He, like, he did get annoying Ultron, where he got on screen, I was like, Ultron... So I kind of was like on the verge of being like, no, like I don't think Ultron's the best villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's not like, oh my gosh, he was the greatest thing ever for the movies. He's not, to me, in my opinion. James Spader did an amazing job and get recognized. You know, should talk about it. For, yeah, but other than that, that's it. He shouldn't be like, that's the greatest villain ever. But I mean, that's my opinion, guys. Um, also, it was slow in the middle. There is a middle part where. Um, it's the second half, and it, it was just getting really, really slow. Uh, it was kind of a little bit boring, not really that boring, but just got slow where you're kind of like, okay, this is the part where we can all just go to the restroom or something and come right back, you know. Just one of those where it took like, it was like 20, 30 minutes slow, just you know, trying to get um, back to the way things are and get caught up. Now, also, the way they use Quicksilver in this movie, the... I wish he would have uh, been shown more at least. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying wise is that Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, like Scarlet Witch gets more time than Quicksilver on screen. And I'm thinking to myself, oh man, Aaron Taylor Johnson coming up, man doing the whole Quicksilver thing, but nope, nope. Only have him on screen for less than 15 minutes, you know what I mean? So. I mean, I, I'm not saying anything wise as like, oh, he's not bad. But he's actually pretty cool. You, know what? you did not see that coming. You know, he's really, actually, really fun and interesting. And Quicksilver, man, was he better than the uh, Days of Future Past? No, he was not better than Evan Peters of Days of Future Past. But he had a better look, and I like the accent. It was saucy. Now my pros. Right into it, I'm just gonna go into it, man. The action in this movie, of course. What do you expect from Marvel? What, 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 do, we, what do we expect? Good action, and the choreography in this movie is fun. It's exciting. Thor with his hammer, you know, pew, pew, and Iron Man, and Captain America. It, it's crazy. The action, Black Widow, and oh my god, the Hulk smash. Very, very cool. And Scarlet Witch's power is just the, the way the effects and, and, and Quicksilver's running. 
I'm amazed by the effects, dude. There are large scale battles in this movie that will make you think when did they ever film all this and how did they manipulate it to look like this i mean it's just there's a big battle that's all i'll say and it's the ending battle where you'll just it'll blow your mind let me just tell you that much that's it um the vision paul bettany as the vision man let's just say when the vision was introduced on screen Everyone clapped. Everyone. I clapped. It, it's, every scene with a vision in this movie is beautifully filmed, beautifully shot. The makeup looks fantastic. Paul Bettany is the vision. It doesn't get much better than that. I love it. Uh, the opening. The opening battle scene. It, like, literally, it opens up in the first you know, 20 seconds. There's action right into it, man. So I definitely enjoyed that, the way Joss Whedon directed it. I think he did a fantastic job with the camera angles and the way that it, you know, the, the choreography, like, okay, stand here, stand there, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Very well done in uh, my take. Now, the cameos in this movie, I'm not going to say, but the obvious one is Stan Lee. Definitely the cameos are very fun, and it makes you laugh. Some make you laugh, and some make you get a little teary-eyed, or like, bay, you know, one of those moments. The music. There is the music from Avengers 1, obviously, but um, some guy named Mr. Elfman, I'm going to say Elfman, his last name, Danny Elfman, I believe is a composer. Very, um, very good. This reminisces because I just saw the first Avengers and IMAX right now, and I was like, oh, pretty cool. Same music, you know, that's pretty cool. It's been three years since, but whatever. The ending battle again, large scale, that's going to blow you away. That is probably, I don't know how Ant Man's going to top that one. I, I just don't know how. The Ultron, again, James Spader, very well done, very well, amazed. The writing and the dialogue, the, what he says, it makes sense and then it doesn't make sense, but yet you're like, oh, you Ultron man, and then just the way Tony Stark and Captain America and Hulk and the whole dialogue written between it is super awesome. Some parts are cheesy, some parts like Thor, you know, oh yes, but what are you going to do about it? Um... The post credit scene. That post credit scene, though. Guys, I am going to be doing a, um, a spoiler review and a more deep analysis this Saturday, which will be May 2nd. That is the day where I'm going to be doing a, a maybe close to an hour long video, maybe a podcast in a way type of thing, talking about everything I loved, everything I hate. Spoiler, 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 spoilers on Saturday. So, uh, you know, subscribe for that. Keep up with that. But again, the post credit scene. All I'll just say is that you, you know what I'm talking about, boy. I'm just going to give you that little reference there. Boy. Um, it's funny. The humor's back, man. Robert Danny Jr. brings the humor. Language, you'll see within them. And they tease the what's to come, man. They're, they tease a little bit of Civil War, tease a little bit of Black Panther. And they're not spoilers. You know, Wakanda, the, the vibranium in the trailers. They're teasing Black Panther, they're teasing Civil War, they're teasing, you know, what's to come of the Infinity Gauntlets, baby. It's just super amazing, and I, is this movie worth watching? Yes. And in IMAX, IMAX was shot beautifully done, it brings you more into the movie. I, I, I don't know how you can see it any other way for sure. I'm going to give this movie a A-, minus, secondarily a B+, plus. overall an 8.95 out of a 10. It's worth watching, it's worth checking out, seniors will love it, adults, regular adults will love it, and kids, it's for everyone. It's a great movie, a great action movie, and it's a, another hit for Marvel, it, it's great. And I'm going to be watching it again this Saturday also before I do that spoiler review again, I'm going to rewatch it. It's, a, it's actually a long movie, I mean, it felt like a long movie, but I guess since I was five hours sitting down, that could be the point, but overall... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you for Ant-Man. That was the next time we'll see the Marvel Wall. Maybe you'll get a little bit more updated. You'll see that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy on Max posted and the Avengers posted on you know, Max will be up there. But until next time, Spock be with you always, boy.